But don't worry, we will be back, or at least they will be back, uh, and to to continue the the driving. Some of us might be too. Yeah. Because, what? Because what? we it's got uh, what twenty twenty eight something. Wait, yes, twenty eight more hours currently. Yeah. Yeah. But of course, you know, more money's going to be raised and it's going to drive that total up higher and higher, which means more hours we have to drive. I I don't know if we'll hit 167 like we've done in the past. Maybe we Who knows? 166, yeah. I don't know. That's Largely, That's up to the chat, really. Yeah. You know, if it can be done, <laughs> they might be <laughs> able to. They might. Is <coughs> such a thing possible? Unclear. I mean, every every year we spend about a week seeing what's possible, mm-hmm. and it's fun to see what's possible. Mm-hmm. Desert is. bus, desert bus lives in a strange alternate universe where such things are possible, mm. and uh, despite starting it, I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> You sure, you sure, like, 18 years ago, this wasn't what you envisioned for the future? Nope. <laughs> $11.5 million lifetime raised? That's, yeah, probably not something that when you can, we thought about. Oh, I did. You did, you? Yeah. Desert, oh! So Desert Bus is a strange alternate world where you can just, like, stand in front of the camera and just be like, hey, let's see if we can raise 5000 Like, <laughs> I have, I have, yeah. I have many friends and family that are involved in very, uh, um, very worthwhile charitable organizations that just have to, you know, uh, have to really, really struggle. You know, you'll be, they'll be, you know, they'll do like one of those, uh, uh, one of those, you know, the, the, like they'll do like a, some sort of uh, celebration, like a whole, like a know, gala or something, a gala or like a casino night or right. you know something like that, and they'll be like, we came up back. Up with, you know, fifteen hundred dollars or five hundred dollars. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. And it's like that's really great for to, to celebrate the thing. But it's like I don't know. I don't know how Desert Bus has sort of tapped into this <laughs> uh, this well of of generosity that uh, maybe was previously. I think Child's Play in general maybe tapped into a well of generosity that yeah. was previously maybe not as. Uh, uh, not not addressed in the way it has been and you can you can look at something like games done quick and be like you know they run two two events every year raise millions of dollars every time and good for them for doing that you know also very worthwhile cause um but they they do a couple different causes yeah yeah. and if you but if you look at that and you're like well but money earned per video game played (laughs) <laughs> it's really quite low. It's true. It's true. Yeah. By that metric. Yeah. We are out doing metric, them. We're doing way better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even in that one year where Jared came in and decided to play multiple video games at the same time while he was playing Desert Bus. That, the only uh, one that counted for the charity was Desert Bus. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So everyone shows up that way. Yeah. That that is a metric that is very important for some reason. <laughs> and that's how things should be measured. That's right. <laughs> yep. That and lookability, yeah, which was the same year. I'm going to look at yeah. anything that that allows us to come out a little bit on right. top. Jared, Jared playing the uh, controller, the game, playing the game with his feet uh, for a very long period of time was the same year as the lookability. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the the only way to measure things. The only also, way that matters. Also, a bunch of people got sick that year. Yeah. Weird. I don't think that's connected in any way. Nope. 